Within the journalism profession, there is a certain hierarchy of news genres, so that so-called hard news is given more prominence and importance than so-called soft news, not only in terms of story placement, but also in terms of the beat itself. As we discuss in the units which look at employment issues in the media, women and men dominate certain beats, with men more likely to work as political reporters in science, technology and the economy, and women more likely to be working in human interest, lifestyle, celebrity and entertainment genres. These emphases produce a gender-differentiated news agenda, both in terms of who is writing and producing the news, as well as who feature in content. If what we see and read and hear are men's voices, men's perspective, men's news, then women continue to be framed as passive observers rather than active citizens. As we've seen from 20 years of the Global Media Monitoring Project, women's visibility in the news has improved in terms of frequency, and we can observe that what counts as news has been extended. But it remains the case that women's visibility in the media is not a reflection of their authority and importance as actors on the economic, social and political stage in the real world. What an analysis of gender and representation in news demonstrates is that there are patterns in the news media's inclusion of women and men which have endured over time and across regions. And those patterns privilege a male perspective about what news is, and more than that, a point of view which is partial, elitist, and often unconnected to the real views and interests of real people. In this unit, we've mostly focused on mainstream news, consumed online or offline, because most of us continue to get most of our news from these sources. While social and alternative media have an important part to play in offering different perspectives to the public, there remains a certain trust issue associated with media outlets whose provenance is unknown and whose writers are anonymous. We've come some way from the early days of gender-based news analysis and we now see more diverse voices and a wider news agenda both of which are good things. However, this shift owes much to the development of news as infotainment and the rise of celebrity culture, both of which have become prominent and important aspects of the news agenda. One of the most significant ways in which news content has been changing in terms of diversity is through the development of women-focused news sites, such as Wings and News Mavens. These sites offer an alternative news agenda which is focused on hearing not only news stories which feature women's voices and perspectives, but also news produced by women media professionals. Do have a look at them. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this unit and I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.